Hi everyone, welcome. Donna Hansen here. Uh, I'm talking today with Peter Getchell from Knowledge Link, who are one of our knowledge partners and provide us with the online training platform for our Knowledge Link or our Vault, our PSA Vault. So if you haven't seen it, when you log into the members area on the website, uh, you can get to the resource vault from here. So what we're going to be doing in our time with Peter today is um, we're going to be looking at the the Knowledge Link Vault for PSA, and we're going to have a look at uh, how Knowledge Link uh, can help you leverage your intellectual property that you've already got in the form of particularly online videos we're looking at here. So welcome, Peter. It's lovely to have you guys on board, and thank you so much for your support of Professional Speakers Australia. Our pleasure. Thank you so much, Donna. Appreciate spending some time with you and, and talking a little bit about Knowledge Link. <laughs> um, well, as you can see on the screen here, uh, what we have is our Knowledge Link Vault. And if you haven't seen it before as a member, I recommend you come in. So you go in through the members area, you pop in your username and password, and it will log you into this particular point. Uh, now, it's important that you look at the generic video at the start here. It just shows you how to get around and how we've categorized a lot of our information. Uh, so uh, basically, tell us first of all, Peter, what exactly is Knowledge Link? Sure. So Knowledge Link is a digital learning platform that companies, speakers, experts, thought leaders can leverage to distribute digital training out there to the, to the field, to the world. Um, now, your PSA is using it in a very um, clever way of using it as a resource center for an association to share content, learning content through, you know, through a lot of different members in the association. Um, others will use it in corp larger corporations to do um, internal training for their field force um, and distribute out training content to large masses of users. Others will sell intellectual property or their, their digital content and expertise um, to individuals or corporations to leverage their thought leadership in the form of a digital online course. Uh, so there's a wide variety of ways that um, people can use Knowledge Link as a platform. First and foremost, it's a knowledge, knowledge management platform, similar to like an LMS, um, but the real niche is it kind of distributing content into that workforce or corporation, um, even association space works really well. Fantastic. And I have to put in a disclaimer that I'm actually a Knowledge Link client. Uh, and I know that I've been on board for, I think it might be almost, it will be about two and a half years. It's over two years. And initially I, I sold the platform into a global brand. And the beauty of that I found of Knowledge Link was the fact that it was so clean and so easy for people to get around. And I know that when I first introduced this to this global brand, one of the things they said was, wow, this looks so professional. So I think um, what I found useful was the fact I already had content, I needed to containerize it into something that looked professional and didn't look like it was a homemade job putting things together. So that's that's sort of how I initially started with Knowledge Link. So I know today, Peter, we're going to be looking at two different elements of Knowledge Link. So what people see here on the screen is the content management system, which is the hiring dollar value value product that Knowledge Link offers to members at a reduced rate. We're going to talk about that in our uh, third segment today. But our first segment, I want to talk to you about a tool or a feature that Knowledge Link have set up called the Knowledge Link Network. So I'm just going to pop over to the Knowledge Link Network now, Peter, and um, uh, bring it up on the screen. So I've got Bill Cates' information here, and I know he may be familiar to some of our members here in Australia. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what the network does or what the intent of it is? Absolutely, yes. So the network um, has been a, a long time coming because at Knowledge Inc., we've been working in the corporate learning um, space for almost 15 years now, working with a lot of large corporations in their learning and development and, um, departments and helping them source you know, content for their LMS. Uh, we are the LMS provider for a number of large corporations. So the number one question we get every year is, hey, I need content on this, I need content on that. And in years past, we've always just been able to recommend certain people to them within that industry. Um, but over the last five, five or six years, we've been acquiring a lot of thought leaders and experts on the Knowledge Inc. platform as well from various topics from 
you know, Microsoft training to social media to you name it. Um, there's an expert probably using KnowledgeLink on that. So this KnowledgeLink network is a culmination of bringing together our enterprise world with learning and development managers looking for content and all of our thought leaders and experts that are on the platform and others that aren't on the platform but just have content and they want to kind of get it out in front of the biggest buyers out there in corporate learning. Uh, so the network is there to be a marketplace that you can showcase up to three or four videos about your topic or expertise, primarily in a, in a course format. Um, but this is meant to be a teaser that corporations can log in and actually browse by different topics now. Oh, yeah, you have the topics up there now. So right now there's sales skills, marketing, workforce. Um, so your content would fit within one of those areas. And the corporation can actually log in and browse for certain content and you know, get a nice sampling of it. What you're seeing here is Bill Cates' content where they can go learn about the referrals without asking course and notice there's a bunch of different videos that are within there. Now, if you clicked on one of those videos as a corporation, they're able to learn about the course and actually get a little teaser of this course segment. And typically the description will say, hey, this is a collection of X amount of videos, X amount of hours of content. But this actually gives you a nice little taste of what the content looks like and sounds like, and you can actually interact with it quite a bit. Um, but the cool part is, and the differentiator for the network, um, this allows the corporate educators to click that button there that says Get Deep Links. And what it'll give them is, a, is, is kind of like an authenticated URL that they can take now and drop into their existing LMS. They can drop into a, you know, a, a shared focus group with their corporation to say, hey, we're, li we're thinking about Bill Cates' content. Click this link to check it out and see if you like it. So it lets them kind of use that content for 90 days as kind of like a sample. Um, and then it expires after those 90 days. And then they have to make that buying decision. Do I want to keep the content? Let's get connected with Bill Cates um, to find out licensing. or um, maybe they don't want it. It's up to them. But the cool thing is within the network, as soon as someone clicks get deep links, it automatically puts them into an email funnel saying, hey, enjoy the Bill Cates content. Here's a couple ways to use it. 30 days out to remind them that it's going to expire in 30 days. Reach out to Bill Cates for licensing um, information. And then once it does expire, it gives them that last nudge to kind of set up that call to have a licensing discussion about um, getting Bill Cates' content for their own LMS. So it's, it's a great way to get exposure to big, large corporations um, in that learning and development space and get your content out there for um, some interest. Super. So um, we were talking before we started the recording about um, the fact that you're marketing this at the moment. So, so how does this get marketed to enterprises or larger organisations um, outside of those people who are already using knowledge work, I guess, particularly in the US? Sure. So this, is, um, this gets promoted out to our internal um, group of companies across the US about 100, 150 big corporations that are on Knowledge Link in one way or another for their training. Um, we're also doing LinkedIn and Facebook ads to, to kind of open it up to other uh, corporate educators who are out there not, not necessarily on Knowledge Link because the cool thing is it doesn't, the people that are in here browsing and looking for content to buy don't technically have to be on Knowledge Link. They can be on any learning management platform our links that we can provide them to these experts can play on any LMS. So we're kind of independent of what they are using currently. Mm -hmm. Just That's one of the benefits of these links being on knowledge. We can put them into any LMS. Um, so we don't care who is browsing for it. We're just giving them access to the best content in, out there. So, so tell me, I know that um, we talked before about um, our members and signing up. Um, is, this, is there a fee associated to this uh, for our members? No, there is no fee associated with this to your members. Um, we're really only offering this out to our existing clients um, and then companies and associations that we have affiliation with on, with their expertise. Uh, so the PSA is one of them, and you have access to signing up for free. Um, and there's a site right here that's up on the screen that you can have access to, which will tell you a little bit more about the, the features and benefits of the network. 
Um, and then it gives you two options. Do I have content? Yes or no. And what it means by that is, you know, if I have content, great. That means I have physical videos, PDFs, workbooks, something that I can com create into a consumable course. Uh, if I don't have content, that's fine. We're just gonna rem we're gonna give you tips and techniques to go about creating that content. So this is gonna put you into one of two funnels. Uh, yes, we'll give you a form to start building out that course with titles, descriptions, and sample videos. No, we'll actually just give you tips and techniques on how do you create your own content so you can have a course. Um, so either way, by signing up here, you'll, you'll get contacted by our customer success manager, Carlene, um, and she'll help you get your course up online um, and visible inside the network. Okay, so the network is what we just looked at with Bill Cates. So our members can come here, which is um, knowledgelink.com forward slash sign up, and they can click the yes I do if they do have online content that they're ready to share and would like to expose to this, this network group. Or if they haven't, there's an avenue for them to get in and start to plan and build out some of that collateral. So there's no cost for them to... Uh, uh, to initiate this so it's really a no-brainer isn't it so the, mm. the fees only apply when they actually sell something is that right how does that work Peter that's absolutely right yeah so our whole thing is before you have before you lay out the expense of building out an elaborate site or um, subscribing to something without paid customers the network lets you get a sale before you need to build something out so there are no distribution fees for KnowledgeLink until you have a licensing agreement with a company to license your content. We become your technology partner then. So we'll help you get set up with either um, whatever the, technically whatever the enterprise is asking for. In the enterprise learning space, sometimes they'll have their own LMS somewhere else and they'll just want deep links to your content. We'll create a deep link package for you uh, for as little as $199 a month um, to deliver those links inside their LMS. You may also want a full platform site, like you saw with the PSA site, where we'll build out a branded site, put your content in there. It really depends what the enterprise wants, but that distribution fee will not um, initiate until a deal is in place and you've incorporated that distribution fee into your licensing arrangement with them anyway. So it's kind of, it's kind of there to protect you in not having an expense of a platform or distribution until you have a paid customer. So, for example, um, let's just say um, I have three videos in there and I sell it to ABC Company. So in my negotiations with ABC Company, I find out what it is they want. Do they want access to my whole media group for, let's just say, Office 2016? In which case, I come back to you and I say, okay, what's it going to cost for us to do this? And then you would quote us a fee. And then I can go back to ABC company and say, okay, here's uh, the investment proposition for you based upon our conversations. Is that sort of how it would work? Yep, absolutely. We'll work with you on, you know, getting them the right package for what they need. Um, and we'll, all, the, all the fees will be, you know, up front so you're not going to be surprised with any delivery or distribution fees. And we'll help you get that deal as much as we can and price it, you know, accordingly. Okay, terrific. So that's the marketplace. Now, um, if we come back to uh, the Professional Speakers Australia site to give people context. So what we've got here, if you haven't seen it before, is um, all the, um, the professional competencies are listed here as well as some of the extra areas we've been working on. So there's some voices of experience recordings that are from the US, um, some uh, video recordings that we did around getting to member level. So... Uh, this is sort of the next step up. So potentially if somebody sells their collateral to an enterprise through the KnowledgeLink network, they may potentially want to move in the next step, which is this. And this would enable them to not only share their content with one enterprise buyer, but multiple enterprise buyers. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And this is where the, the features and functionality of the overall platform come into play because one platform, one knowledge link platform really lets you brand um, and provide admin features to a number of different corporations um, because you can change the look and feel based on the user that's coming in. If they're coming in from Coca-Cola or are they coming in from you know, General Electric, the look and feel changes based on the company that's coming in. And you can also provide a set of admin rights to that enterprise so let them look at their own user base. 
Um, so yeah, the full full system learning management comes into play with a full knowledge and subscription. Um, and again, the features and functionality are really catered to people that are selling into that corporate corporate market, mm -hmm. the larger enterprises that have you know a learning team that will want the admin features that you can provide them. So based on the time we're recording, which is November 2017, what are the current rates to get access and be able to have uh, the ability to provide a customised site like this uh, for, your, for our members' networks of, um, of clients? So Knowledge Inc. subscriptions started, uh, there's a $1,000 setup fee to kind of get started with the platform. That's where our team will actually brand it, load your content in there, kind of Kind of do it a la carte for you as far as um, you know hands off like we'll do everything from start to finish make it look great and get your content in there ready to go we do offer a do diy option which is half that which is only 500 which we'll set it up and brand it but then you would load your content in there with our help so we do that to kind of keep the cost down a little bit for the ones that are more tech savvy and can do it themselves or maybe have um, support staff or if they have a support staff yeah we'll train whoever is capable of doing it um, and help you along the way to get you loaded in there. Um, so that's a thousand dollar setup or the do it yourself, which we can um, do it for half of that at 500. Mm -hmm. And then the monthly subscription for Knowledge Inc is 399 a month. Um, and that provides up to two corporate clients, like enterprise IDs, mm -hmm. as we call them. Uh, so they have the ability to change the branding, look and feel, and provide those admin rights for. Um, Two additional enterprises. Okay, so for example, I could have one of these that has my company and I could also provide one to General Electric or um, what was the other company you mentioned before? Well, let's just say uh, B yeah. yeah, let's just say BHP. So yeah, this yeah. enables you to add that on for a client and it, and it looks exactly like theirs, which is which is a great thing. So um, is there a discount on that fee for them? Sorry? Technically, I guess you get three when you mention that. Right. So your company would be the base one, and then you get two additional ones. Right. So it is technically three branding. So yeah, you are correct. Okay, that. and that's three ninety nine US a month after the setup fee. Is there is that um, before a discount for PSA members? That is before the discount for the PSA members. Yeah. So um, and twenty five percent off. Is that right? Twenty five percent off the monthly hosting fee, yeah, which is a pretty good saving. Absolutely. Um, and then yeah, that is. So I think that comes out to about two ninety nine a month now. Yep. After the twenty five percent off. Yep. Okay, fantastic. So um, just to close everything off, uh, we've looked at uh, Knowledge Link as far as Professional Speakers Australia's site's concerned. And then the entry point, if you want to get some of your information up and, and trial it, it's really not that hard. You just need to go to the, uh, uh, the Knowledge Link uh, network page, this one here. Uh, so it's knowledgelinknetwork.com forward slash sign up and you can choose uh, where you are. So yes, if you already have the online content uh, and you can start to showcase or talk to um, uh, Knowledge Link about sh showcasing some of your videos to make them available for consideration by enterprise buyers. And of course, remembering that in coming weeks and months, Knowledge Link are going to be doing some targeted Facebook advertising, some retargeting and some LinkedIn marketing to help um, drive some more traffic uh, beyond the additional or beyond the enterprise subscribers that you already have uh, to get um, more opportunities. So I guess Knowledge Link is not just a platform for content management and delivery. What we're also trying to do is is act as a connector, I guess. That's why it's called the network. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, connecting, you know, the brightest, you know, content providers with the biggest companies looking for content. So, um, you know, we're there to make that connection and you know get more content into the into the enterprise world and the, the beauty of all of this is this this initial piece costs nothing until you sell something or if you want a, a bigger branded solution um i know from the time i started my conversations with uh, with you guys to getting my content up it was a matter of a, a month because i had all the content it was just a matter of mm -hmm. a month to get it all together and looking perfectly so it's quite a quick turnaround and i'm expecting you know you could probably do it quicker if you had somebody in your own office that could dedicate maybe a week or so to uploading your content of course, it depends on how much content you've got, doesn't it? It does, absolutely. I mean, we've we've transitioned people onto Knowledge Link who have, 
you know, 2,000 videos, like a Jeffrey Gittimer. Um, it took 90 days to get him fully migrated over wow. from a, another solution to Knowledging. And we've gotten people up as, as fast as a week, you know, because they had their content in a certain format. They were able to just upload it in there and start delivering it out to people. So, um, you know, it's we have a very good customer success team that, that cares a lot about all the clients and gets them up and running, looking great um, pretty quickly. So... Um, well, you know, on behalf of all Professional Speakers Australia, the board and members, can can we just say thank you for for partnering with us and for allowing us to utilise your software to create our knowledge uh, vault for our members and um, members watching this, can I recommend you go and have a look at these things. Be aware that Knowledge Link is our documentation or our knowledge management partner and they're sponsoring our conventions and our platform professional summits uh, across the course of uh, the next year or so. Uh, and we're so grateful to have you on board and thank you so much for your support, Peter. You bet, my pleasure. Thank you so much and we love the PSA. And Feel free to reach out with just with questions if you have. You just want to throw out some ideas. My name and the picture pop up on that Knowledging Network site, so feel free to just ask any questions in reference to you know getting into the course building space. I'm there for you. Super. Thanks so much, Peter. Thanks, Donna. Thanks so much.